So I like get yeah. you. Yeah, how is it going? Fine, we thank God. Thank, thank God. Please hold on for a second. I'll be with you. Okay. Okay, so good afternoon and uh, thanks for joining us. Mr. Dennis Eason, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as we do this meeting, my mind is flashing back to those days when we first met and I know it's been quite a journey. And I want to say a big thank you for agreeing to do this with us. God bless you real, real good. It means a lot to us because I know it's in spite of a busy, busy schedule. And so without further ado, for our people joining us, if you are joining us on Zoom, please mute. We won't be able to join on YouTube, but I'll upload it later. I wanted to make to stream it live, but I'll upload it later. I had a bit of uh, connectivity issues, but it's okay. Let's do it on Zoom. We are recording and we'll upload it to YouTube today, just today. Okay, so welcome to the very first what we call Money Conversations Afrique, MCA. It's a brainchild of mine, and I'm so happy we are kicking off with Mr. Dennis's song, because when it comes to real estate, he gets it. When it comes to digital marketing, he gets it. We actually got to know through a digital marketing platform. We are so grateful to have a mentor by the late Dr. Sonny Ojeagase. And so he gets what he's going to talk about. And so I will appreciate us to be as attentive as we can. But before he gets onto the platform, before I start asking questions, I would like to do a brief intro. So Dennis Isong is a top real estate professional and founder of landproperty.ng. He helps Nigerians in the diaspora to own property in Lagos, Nigeria, stress-free. And you can find him on, him on social media as Dennis Eason, all social media, Dennis Eason. He has over five years experience in the real estate industry and he's trusted for helping clients to navigate the complex process of buying and selling properties in Lagos. And recently, he was honored with a highly coveted excellence award for his transformative contributions to the real estate sector. Without further ado, I invite Mr. Dennis Isong to the House of Wisdom platform to talk to us about how he uses digital marketing to sell real estate. So bro, you are welcome. 
thank you so much. I appreciate. Um, thank you for bringing me to this your platform. It's an opportunity to see you again. Uh, I'll talk to you again after a couple of years. Um, I appreciate. I appreciate. So um, I, I want to understand how we operate. Will it be a form of yes, question please. and answer or? Yes, we are going to roll based on question and answer session. So I'll ask the questions and okay, provide fantastic. answers. I, I know you will do justice to my questions. Now, the first question I want to ask is, you were given okay. an award recently, and I know Governor Samuel was there. And so I want us to understand the concept of the award and specifically why you were singled out, you know, for that award. <laughs> Okay. Um, first of all, uh, you, you know, we have the reason why we go to business. And um, real estate is a very serious business. So I decided to venture into it um, in, order to, in order to help, but also to make money. That is the Whatever we do, business is to make money. But as you are making the money, you're also helping people. And um, what I decided to do was to focus on Nigerians in diaspora. My major focus on Nigerians in diaspora. Um, truly, I don't, I don't really. The, the truth is, um, I don't really bother much to sell to um, more of Nigerians in Nigeria. I focus my strengths in Nigerians in diaspora. The reason is because um, I know what they pass through, trying to buy property right here in, in Lagos or in Nigeria as a whole, they give money to their brothers and your sisters, or even to their fathers and their mothers, and the money enter voice notes. So because of that, I decided to focus more in helping Nigerians in diaspora. And, um, you know, when you do things, people observe what you're doing. And, you know, they say, um, word of mouth spread a lot. So, and um, most of my referrals, which most of my clients come from referrals and also online too. So when Mr. A tests my service, there's tendency that Mr. A will refer me to other people. And um, the fact is, if I want to compare my, my, the clientele I have in Nigeria and those outside the country, I can say it's one to 30. Let's say, I mean, 30 to one. Let's say in every 30 customers I have in abroad, maybe only one of them is based in Nigeria. So, and, um, and um, now, apart from the fact that, okay, I do real estate, I try to educate Nigerians in diaspora on um, on how they should not they should not fall into scam in especially in Lagos market, and um, why doing that? Um, some of those media that publish my articles, um, they have been following suit. So um, and I've been doing I've been every single week, every single week. There is no week that my publication is not is not um, is not on some top blogs in Nigeria. There's no single week. Every single week. I've, been, I've been consistent for years now. And um, people observe, and those who have tested, tested my service, they, 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 they also observe, I mean, they, they see things. So um, the award you, you, you saw is um, based on those who have tested my service, based on those who have, who have um, recorded my service, those, those, are, those, are, those, are, those who have tried me and see. So when they try and see, so um, getting, getting, you know, the, the award does not really, um, does not really in, in, in quotes, really tell what I do because I do more than that, that award. But the award just to recognize, okay, we will see what you have been doing and kudos for doing this. That is just it. And there, there are other people who got the award too. And just like I said, you don't also uh, got the award for, for doing for supporting real estate in Lagos. So that is just it. Yes, well, we are so happy to hear that. And then another question I wanted to ask is, at what point did you get into real estate? And how did it occur to you that you could leverage digital marketing to sell it? Thank you. We can do this. Please, um, uh, okay. unmute. Okay. Mute. I've done it. Okay. okay. You can go on. So, um, okay, good. Uh, you know, my, my, my core is digital marketing. First, I mean, website designer, programmer, digital marketing, digital marketer, that is my core. So when I went to venture into real estate, 
I, I, I said, what do I already have? You know, sometimes you look at what you don't have. What do I have that can that can, can use as um, as a leverage to sell what I want to sell, which is real estate? Because I've not sold IT it kits like three before. Those days in uh, in SADC, what we sold. Uh, product of 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. It's not, it's not, it's not uh, much of um, a million, 2 million, 10 million, 100 million kind of product. So the question is, how can I use what I already have and venture into this, into this new uh, business I'm, I, I was trying to do into there? And, and thank God that um, that knowledge was there. So when I venture into real estate using my digital mm -hmm. skill from the angle of article writing, which uh, some of them is what um, you taught us. Um, those days, um, no, in short, what, something I'm even doing now is you're blogging tutorial of those days. Uh, so because I still blocked it today, I see that article. Uh -huh. So it's those knowledge, those fundamental knowledge that we still use. We still do we do video content, we do blogging, we still write articles. And just that what I now did is now more more narrow, more intense. And that is what is giving the result now. Because um, if you go on the internet now and you search anything that has to do with real estate, at least before you get to second page, you will see at least one of my articles. Because currently um in 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 Nigeria, my for local for local content, my my article is submitted to over twenty more than twenty websites every week. That's for local content. For international content, over seven hundred websites um, every month. I do that, and I've been doing that for, for a couple of um, time now. So so when when you search for local content on real estate, real estate especially in Lagos market, which is where I focus on. At least before I get to the second page, third page, you will see one of my articles. So on different topics. So all those actions are deliberate, and all those actions wouldn't have been possible if I if I do not have prior, prior knowledge of digital marketing. So which which everything still boils down to some of the things you touched us in blogging. So that just it. So digital marketing actually helped me to um, boost my sales, boost my this particular career path I've chosen. And it has been it has been good so far. Are you awesome. there, ma? Thank you for that answer. It practically answers all the questions I have around you. But what I'm trying to now ask is, were you at any point frustrated at the beginning of the journey? Because you know we have people who will just be beginning the journey, and I would like us to be as realistic as we can. So that if they encounter any challenges, they will know that it's part of their journey. Okay. The truth is this. Uh, having the digital marketing skill is one part. But the ability to convince people is another thing. And um, you can... Good, we write these letters. We write... Um, we write... Uh, write blogs, we write articles online, who will read it. But for someone to remove 10 million uh, to buy property, it's, you need to add an extra an extra effort to it. And um, the truth is this, when I started, even with my marketing, even with my digital marketing skill, I was, I was frustrated. That is the truth. It took me over a year before I could sell my first property. How many? That is the truth. How took many me over a year. Over a over year? Over a year. Hmm. To sell one property. Wow. Uh, that is instead to took me over a year to sell one property. And the reason was because I brought in my digital marketing skill, but I I over I made it too digital. In real estate, real estate is a local business. So you have to combine both digital marketing and the local parts, the local business part of it. Um when I put article, people read, they say thank you. But because in digital marketing we are used to, we um, okay. Let me let me make reference to um, other things before uh, real estate. You know, I've been doing advert on Facebook for years, 
And um, the normal way we say we say info products or e-commerce products, we just put adverts within 20, 30 minutes. People can just come see your site, fill the form, um, place an order. Since it's payment on delivery, if, if, uh, most time is if it's e-commerce, people, people will go, you deliver to the person, the person give you your money. And then the, the buying time for info products can be as low as one day. The buying time for an e-commerce can, can be as low as one day. But the buying time for an average real estate person want to buy can be as high as three months. Can be as high as three months. And that involves constant follow-up. That involves constant um, um, communication. And that communication will go beyond email, will go beyond um, article writing. We'll go, go beyond all those things. You have to pick your phone and do a call. So um, the truth is this. If you are coming to real estate to make quick money, the truth is this. You, you might not make quick money the way you think, you think it is. Because the commission is nice. You make product, you sell products of um, 10 million now. Uh, you get, boom, the, depending on the company, you get 1 million now. Uh, you get 500,000 now uh, in your account. Fantastic. It makes sense. But before you can do that, you have to go beyond just, just article writing. You have to go beyond just doing video out there. You have to go, you have to learn how to close with your phone. In short, for you to really make money in this in this industry, digital marketing will attract them. That is it will attract them. But you have to go manual. Which will involve you picking your phone and closing the phone, closing the call through phone. Basically, apart from the fact that I, I do all those content to get attraction, but the fact is, my major job, which I do every single day before this call, is to pick phone and start calling my customers, start call, start calling those I have my pipeline, my phone now, because it is it is not easy for somebody to carry hundred million to give to you to buy a house. You know, it's not that easy. With that, yeah, you know, there's, a, there's a connection between the way you talk to your clients on uh, with your voice and the, and the difference between it and the difference between when you just write. So after you connect the person, you, you after you attract the person through your right through your right talk through your video, you need to attach a voice and attach a face. And you selling real estate without a face also to some extent you you might struggle. You must attach a brand to um, to it, so you can you have to you have to go beyond just writing, posting, and do a proper follow up. You have to, in fact, it's for you to really make it good in real estate. You have to have skill of follow up, the skill of closing through the phone, because an average person want to buy property want to talk to you through phone, to know to, to see how you stand, to know if you have empathy, if you understand them better, and the rest. So, but the truth is this: the question you ask is, was it was it a time that was frustrated? Yes, it was a time I was frustrated. In short, one of the reasons why why I even ventured into real estate, um, for the time I was doing adverts on Facebook actively, at least averagely, I spent when I was when I was actually doing e-commerce e and info products. At least I don't spend it at all in a month. I will spend up to a million naira on adverts every single month. So, and um, I had like five staff who, who, who were handling all those orders. But to get to a point, Facebook had challenge. All the time they had challenge with um, Cambridge, they had challenge with, uh, uh, with um, iPhone and US government. So the advert changed. And um, what they did, they started banding all our pages. For, I had several pages for different products. I had several several um, ad accounts, they started banding all those accounts. You open a, a, a new account, you got banned. You open an account, you get banned. You get to a point that, okay, what better way I can, can I, what else can I do apart from just selling info products and, um, and e-commerce? So what physical, more, what more physical thing can I sell? That was when I was, okay, I was doing real estate there, but I was still having other things by the side being. So before I now decided to switch fully, and venture into real estate. And I can tell you that the first one year wasn't good, was, was not rosy because um, I have to learn and unlearn some certain things. And um, I have to know the industry very well. Then, and before, when I was able to, to 
make myself my first product, sell my first property, which was around two lots of around, I think it was around 12 million naira products. That was the first property I sold. And before then, it now came back to back, back to back. So selling property now for me is like selling normal product now because I now have a system that works for me. So that's just it. Awesome. Thank you so much for being realistic with us there and not hiding anything. I also wanted to ask that um, did you have to put what did you have to put in place to become this known? Because I know you have a coordinated digital marketing operation because I follow you on quite a, a number of social media and I see your posts. So I want to know, what did you have to put in place to have such a coordinated digital marketing operation? Yes. Okay. Um, you know, when I started, I was doing it alone. So with time, I decided to bring more people. Now I have like five people that work, work with me. So, and each of them, they do different things. And um, when I started, my articles, I write it myself. So, but now I, I have people who do that, who um, I give them the topic, they do it, um, I bed it, it, and it goes, it goes live. When I started, I was doing my video myself. Now I have people that, I have people that do that. They would do my video. I see how people that do lo those that do long videos, how those that do short videos. So um, it's about knowing what works for you. Hmm. I have people that distribute my content. So um, if, if you want to go far, I think the best thing is you to get people that work with you. Because if you want to do it yourself, you'll be frustrated. So I know in this my business, the, the most important thing that brings me the main money, apart from the attraction, it's good to get the attraction. But the main money is the follow-up and talking to customers, and uh, which is the major which I handle. I handle that part more. So it's about you having a system in place. You know, my system might not work for everybody. And, and the reason why I'm able to create the system that works for me is because of where I'm coming from. That's why the system can work for me. So if you, um, you, if, if you want to come into the system and eat your money alone, you can do it alone, but the best way is to have people who work with you, who, who you are, like for instance, the person that, that does most of my articles, the person that does not own base in Lagos, but I've, I've um, put her through, trained her properly, she's based in Ibadan, and she writes the articles, and I, uh, I vetted it, and it's okay, and we distribute the content. So for me, it's about um, knowing what what work for you, what you think. Um, but it's not, the first thing first for me is about having this writing. Because the fact is, is if I don't say this, which I'm telling you now, um, you will not know. And if you, if you just follow me online, the more you look, the less you see. There's a strategy behind what I do. There's a strategy behind what I do. It's not just posting on social media. There's a strategy behind. The content that will come out in the next one month, probably we've already planned it. I, I don't just take any any estate and start promoting. No, I pick the estate, the content that we'll use in that, or the strategy behind that estate, or in that estate, we will draw it out already and the content will be ready. So when it is the right date, the thing goes off, so it goes up. So um, there's a strategy behind everything I do. Uh, it's not just posting on the internet, the strategy, and they are very, very deliberate. They are deliberate, they are deliberate. Yes, I so understand the fact at, that there's a strategy yeah. behind all that you do because I follow you. So right now, what would you say that a beginner should do? Do they do organic or paid? Um, and did you uh, do organic you or paid at the beginning? Sorry. Okay. Um, so to be frank with you, see this, I see do more of organic. To date, to date, most of my sales come organically. But the, tr the truth is this, the organic will take more time, but it will pay you more. It will pay you more. Because whatever you've done today can still be useful in the next 10 years. I did a video 
about his language to refinery. That should be like be like three years ago or things things so. When the refinery was launched, I get me that video which I did came up again and started ranking again. So the the, the job I did about three years ago started giving me more results a few months ago when the when the when the Dangote refinery was launched. Mm -hmm. I did a video on the uh, about the deep sea ports a couple of um, years ago, and that video still come up again. I did a I did a drive video to a particular location in Ibejuleki, and that just that drive video has given me a couple of clients, and that same video will still give me a couple of clients in future to come, because it's organic. Um, but paid adverts will give you will give you instant results, but the fact is this: you need to up your game more. To convince them for them to buy, for them to buy. And because the real estate industry is not a is not it doesn't have a short buying spam, is um the minimum time for a customer to buy any pro kind of property is three months. That is, I mean the the the, the buying time is like three months. What are products like just like I said, info products a client can buy within 24 hours, can just see product now, put it in this card and buy. Likewise, likewise, um, other products too. People can buy within within three days, four days. But when it comes to e-commerce, I mean, when it comes to real estate, it takes an average of three months. So if you have that mindset and you are doing paid adverts, you need to know that if you get the clients to come in to your funnel, you need to flow them up for three months. And that three months is for, for you to um, get them to know you better. Because most times people buy you first before they buy the property. Most of most, most people that have bought property through me, they do not buy because they do not buy the property because of the company. They buy because they've been following me for years. So somebody called me, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Person inbox me. Person told me he has been he has been following me for one good year on YouTube. And the, imagine someone following for one good year without even calling you. And they called yesterday. And that is this this when you want to when I buy buy products you want to buy. So um, organic is good, but organic you have to be, you have to have a strategy behind. You have to be patient. Doing paid adverts if you have the money, fantastic. Do paid adverts is good. But one thing I need to let you know is this: if you are doing paid adverts, you need to know how to do the advert properly, so I don't waste your money. Let me give you a typical example. Um, for instance, if you are doing Facebook adverts, if you do Facebook adverts, just like the normal way you do your normal e-commerce info, info product adverts, you will end up wasting your money because those that will be clicking on your adverts will be your fellow your, your fellow readers who want to who just want to see how you are doing your own thing. So you need to, it's not just having money, you can have money, but if you don't spend the money well, you might end up um, wasting that money. So I would recommend if you are coming to the business, mix it, do organic and do um, paid advert. Me, I, I do organic, I do paid advert. I run advert on YouTube and I should do my normal posting of, of video every single day. So that's just it. Awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, would you then say that your results from digital marketing are impressive or have been impressive? You know, digital marketing skill is, um, you know, is for you to is for you to use it to to get attention. Digital marketing skill is very important because to get it to get bring you people. But I can tell you that you need to add more skill. You need to add more skill to it for you to convert those those. Because if you focus on just digital marketing skill to bring you people, but if you don't know how to close phone closing. Mm -hmm. It's very important. You need to know how to close on phone. Mm -hmm. uh, phone closing is very important when it comes to um, you selling I ticket to um, I ticket um, um, uh, anything I ticket as at now. Should, whether it is real estate or not, uh, if you are selling course of you are selling something of ten thousand uh, now, you need to call anybody. Person can pay. Mm -mm. Person go go ahead. You are selling product of fifty thousand now. You can see. Do everything digital. Just email, send email out, post your advert, they pay. That is your okay. But if you are selling products of over a million naira, there's only few people that will go ahead and transfer a million naira 
without wanting to hear you. So this marketing skill is very good because if you get the, the, the attraction, it will help you to build the reputation. So, uh, but you need to see how you can transfer that digital marketing skill, improve on it, learn how to close on phone. Phone closing is very, very important because phone closing will make your work easier for you. What, what you've done with, with your digital marketing skill, you need to take it further by calling and closing the deals. Voice is very important when it comes to this real estate. The way you communicate with people, okay. most of them want to hear your voice. Voice somehow give you make people to have confidence in you more. So when they can relate the voice and relate um, it with what they, whatever they have seen online, it will make it close. But if you you want to do hundred percent digital marketing, digital marketing, just you want to communicate through email alone for them to pay. Oh, this, this particular business is a local business. Sometimes you require them meeting you. Sometimes it require you having a physical meeting. Sometimes it require you just talking on phone. But based on my own kind of my own kind of strategy, let's say over ninety percent of clients that buy through me, they have not they don't come on inspection. They don't come physically because most of them are not in Nigeria. So so that's why you have to opt in your phone game, your calling skills, calling skill, closing through the phone because it will go a long way. Because now. Uh, those questions, they, okay, just like I said earlier, before they ask me any question, I've already emphasized the question, and I've done video. When I want to market a particular estate, I don't do one video. All the questions that they will ask, I'll make sure that I do all those videos down. So when I'm talking to them, I'll tell them, okay, I'll send the video for you to see the distance from, from um, Lekki to this store gate. All the questions they will ask, apart from answering it on phone, I'll see, I'll see, send them those videos. So that is where yeah, the two of them have to combine both. You have to, um, in short, in this industry, you need to see how you can use your digital marketing skill and learn how to do a little bit of manual. Because if you want to do fully digital, you might struggle a bit. That is necessary. You might struggle because this this school is this big money you're talking about here, not small money. So you need to combine both of them. Thank you so much for that. So I wanted to also ask, because I know it might be a bit difficult to get you back. So I want to quickly switch to the opportunities, the untapped opportunities in real estate in Lagos State, since that is where you specialize in. And we are talking to young people in House of Wisdom. I would like you to shed light on the untapped real estate opportunities in Lagos State. Okay. In, in uh, the fact is, Lagos is growing very fast. People are moving to Lagos every single day. And um, if you are looking at doing, looking at selling properties, or okay, well, the opportunities, there are several ways you can come in. Several ways you can come in into this industry, especially in Lagos. I focus basically in Lagos. I'm just partly of the state, but mainly in Lagos. Um, you can come in as a rental. That you sell other other properties. You can come in as a developer if you want to develop. Then you can come in as a service provider. A service provider, and the service provider come in different form. Come in form of uh, maybe product service provider, or come in as a service provider as a training, um, like um, what me. I came in as a rental. Deliberately, to, to, to date, I'm, I'm still focusing on rentals. Uh, as if focusing, I'm still focusing on selling property. I'm not even doing service in terms of uh, training. So many companies have called, called me to come and do training for them. Deliberately, I know it, that market on its own is a very huge market. I know if I, if I start it, start what I'm doing now, because I'm, I'm trying to build this particular part very well. So I know one of the added decisions, what one of the added decisions to make in life is to have to choose between two good things. I know I can do training on that aspect, but I am not currently doing training because that market is a very old market. So, but I'm currently what I'm doing currently, I'm selling, doing more of selling properties. Um, um I, I want to do the training when I'm when I believe okay, I've gotten a strong strategy, which which I'm I'm currently testing my strategy on with different people. I have some group of people which I'm testing the strategy on. And imagine I say it took me, it took me one year to sell one property. 
And um, I called someone earlier this year. I said, okay, I have, I have a strategy that works already. I want you to implement this strategy. And the person sold his, his first property within a month. So that means that, okay, it's working. So when I'm doing it, if, I'm, if I decide tomorrow I want to go into the training aspect of, of the real part, I know I have a strategy that works, uh, that can give results. So you can come in a different angle. If you have the money, you want to go into developing. But I would recommend you have good, you have knowledge. There are different estate schools you can go to get the knowledge of developing. Yeah, if you're going to looking at going to developing, there are different estate schools you can go to, which I would recommend you do that for you um, before you venture into developing. Otherwise, um, your money, your money will. It's not, it's not all about money. It's about knowledge first. Then, if you're looking at um, starting in starting at low capital, no money, then go into retorship and go into selling other property. Then if you have a knowledge, like digital marketing skill, you have, then you can come in from the angle of training. You can come in from the angle of training, which you train retors, you train asset company on how they can have visibility online, uh, on how they can just, if you're an accountant, you can come in from the angle of um, training assets company on how they can keep their record right. Uh -huh. So there's a different angle you can come in from. It's all depend on you. So that's just it. There's a different angle. If, if, you, if you want to go into the um, another part of it, which is the product part, um, you can come into selling building materials like um, block mode, even as low as block molding. Um, there's several things you can do in, the, in this industry. The market is very wide. So that's why you can choose a particular part and focus on it. Me, for now, I've choose to sell property. Even though I know I have the ability to, to do training, but I'm not even doing training now because uh, there's still more money to milk out from the property selling. So that gets it. Awesome. So I wanted to ask these two more questions before I ask our people on the call whether they have questions. You know, young people will tell you, ah, oh, I don't have capital. I don't have capital. Do you think that can stop them? from tapping into these opportunities you've mentioned? In the, um, from the angle of, um, okay, two, two things basically. From the angle of um, you being a rector, you don't need capital to be a rector. Every company wants somebody that will sell their products. So you don't need capital. You just walk up to the company, I want to sell your product. They'll tell you, fantastic, bring customer for me now. They get a commission. So in that case, you don't need, you don't need capital. Then in terms of service, whatever, whatever you know, I just give an example now. You let's say you're a digital marketer, or you know how to run a Facebook advert, or you know how to um, you are an influencer. You don't need capital for that. Talk to companies that you want, you want to promote them. They will gladly um, engage you, and based on the terms and condition, you are good to go. So not everything is capital. Not everything. Short. Um, I mean. For me, I mean, the idea of, um, of when you start with what you have. But when I started, even though I had money to run adverts, I did not run adverts. I went organic. I went organic. So at least that organic, I learned and I don't learn. And um, I'm making sales. So which, 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 which makes a lot of sense. Uh, from not, there were times that there were times that making a sale in a year was a prayer point. There were times I'm making a sale in six months with a prayer point. There were times I'm making a sale in um, one month with a prayer point. There were times I'm making a sale per week with a prayer point. So, so, but if you understand the system, you can create your own miracle by having a good strategy in place. So it's not about money. Uh, it's not about money. Money, money is very important in everything you do because you need money for to go to sites. You need money to load your phone to call. You need money for other activities, but that should not stop you. That should not stop you. Thank you, Thank you for that. Now, this is a follow-up question to what you just said. So during that time when it was a prayer point to just sell one, uh, one uh, property, how did you keep going? You know, because all of us experienced this, and I would like us to enlighten us as to how you were able to get up every day and still do the marketing, in spite of the fact that you were praying for a breakthrough. Okay. Um, you know, uh, first, strategy will not fail. 
strategy will not fail. And um, if, if there's something I, I tell people, I, I say follow follow who no road. Follow who no road. There's whatever I want to do, there are people that um, are already doing what they're doing. If you're you're willing to go humble yourself, you will learn more. So you learn how to go about it. So likewise, I why it was I wasn't um, when I wasn't making sales. Although I had a backup, the backup I had then was uh, um, my wife. At least, at least, that, at least, at all, at all, something was still coming in from from um, the other business, which which me and my wife handled. So, but at, but at that point, you need to keep on learning and unlearn. And if you have somebody to look up to, look up to the person. One one of the things which I did, I think, was smart. I look I look in Lagos market. Who, who are the top raters in Lagos? Uh, who are the top salesperson in Lagos? And I inbox all of them. I inbox all. So one of them, one of them, happened to be one of my students. One of them happened to be one of my students who have who have um, attended my training before. And, and now he's even doing well. He's even doing well more than me. I have to open myself. See, uh, even though you were you were once my student, but now in this particular one, you are doing well more than me. I have to in this one, you're my older. I have to walk up to him and say, okay, tell me what you are doing. And so then I just tell him, okay, tell me, just tell me any place you want us to meet. Let's have lunch. And so, so then I took them to five star hotel. Let's just have lunch. Let's have buffet together. And just discussing with them for for one hour plus, and they share some some good things that um, when I implement, I started getting results. So that just is so the, the fact is if you have if you are, if you believe that, um, so that as far as somebody has done something and has succeeded, you can do the same thing. It's about you humbling yourself, be consistent, which, which is one thing which I tell people. You um, it's not when you plant a seed that you grow. Every seed has a time for harvest. So are not all the seeds you plant that will fall on good soil. It's like the parable of the soil. Not all seeds you plant will fall on good soil. Some will fall in bad soil. But you just keep on doing. And in this industry, people need people need to observe you properly because they are buying you. They need to observe you properly before they can pass their money on. Currently, there are people that they have not, most of them have not even seen them. Most of them have not even seen them. They can comfortably send some good millions of naira to my account without even, without uh, without them even um, seeing me physically. Because over the years we've done business in millions, so sending money to my account without them seeing me is not because it's not a big deal to them because they've we've interacted over the years and the trust has been built. And uh, this is not an it and run business. It's the business that you are selling trust. What you are selling here is trust. What I'm selling is trust. So, and um, if if I'm doing the thing the right way, just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. We all have different time that our prayer will be answered. So, but just keep on pushing. As far as you don't give up, just this, this guy is the starting point. That's just what I want to say. Thank you so much for that. I, I love the way you broke it down. And the last question for me is, how were you able to gain the trust of Nigerians in the diaspora, considering the fact that some of them would have been burned uh, in their bid to invest in real estate down here? Okay. Um, if you observe, I've mentioned one particular word several times, which is strategy. You need to be deliberate on what you do, deliberate on what you do. There are some key core value which I have, which I'm deliberate about it, that when I talk to any of them, I, I, um, I consciously say it, I consciously repeat those words. You know, trust is not built in a day. You cannot, get a, uh, you cannot trust somebody in a day. So the way that trust requires time. I guess. So when I am talking to them, or I'm doing my content. There are some key phrases that deliberately I repeat those words. And you know, people somehow 
as far as time is concerned, when it comes to trust, somehow people tend to believe what you say to them. And the frequency of how you say to them enable you to get the trust more faster. And when I create my video, I have, I have scripts which I use. With those scripts, I deliberately say those words. And why you are reading my profile, you mentioned something. I, I, I don't think I sent it to you, but you saw a song here. It's a deliberate action. You said that I talked to, I help Nigerians in diaspora. Those things are deliberate. Wherever you saw it, and wherever you saw that write-up, it's a deliberate action. I get me. I deliberately focus and say that people don't want, don't want to, people don't want to use you, um, people don't want to, um, uh, people don't want when you use them as experiments. They they want they want to believe that someone else has try you, uh, and they've gotten good results before they can try you. So because I know that my focus is Nigerian diaspora, so deliberately in most of my videos, if not all, I say it consciously. And whenever I'm talking to you on phone, through email, through my article. I put that in your subconscious mind deliberately. So all my activity go, go around that, that. I make sure that I have a strategy behind it. So um, it's not by accident. If I say, I, if, if um, I talk about I have Nigerian in diaspora, it's not by accident that you hear it. It's deliberate. So, and the number two thing also is your yes has to be yes. Those people, these people, they are not here. They are not here. So you are their eyes. So if the distance from Eleko Junction to the free trade zone is 30 minutes, say that it's 30 minutes. So that when they send somebody to come and confirm, the person will believe that the person will say the same thing. But if from Eleko down to the free trade zone is 30 minutes and you say it's five minutes, of course, when they when when they find out, you've lost out. You've lost out. So that is why you have to be deliberate about it. You have to be very truthful, uh, very straightforward, and be frank about the information you pass across. Because if you don't give the right information and they discover it, you've lost that customer and they can never come back to you again. That is the truth. But if you tell them the right thing, you tell them that from this place to this place, this, and you tell them. It's, this land is it dry or is it marshy? Is it waterlogged land? You tell them it is dry. You tell them it is it's waterlogged land. Even though, even if they do not buy from you at that point, but you told them the truth. If the, 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 the land size is 500 square meter and you tell them it's 600 square meter, you just shut yourself. Even though they buy that, they buy at that one moment. They will not buy again next time because later on, they will discover that the land you told, you told them is 600 kilometers, it's 500 kilometers. So, so let your yes be yes. Let your let if it's black, say it's black. If it's white, say it's white. Don't be too desperate to sell to them. Make them understand that you are their eyes. Yeah, you are that brother, that brother they don't have. That, yeah, that brother. Because most of them, they don't trust their, they don't trust their brothers, they don't trust their sisters, even their mother, father, they don't trust because of what has happened. So, and if you're able to put that bond, you will surprise how somebody would, somebody that you don't know for any years would automatically be your brother and be your sister, which I have so many of them now. Some of them, they're house key. They're not in Nigeria. I, I'm, I'm the one with the house key. So whenever they come to Nigeria, ah, then it's, I'm in Nigeria, come and pick me up home. I pick them. We go to the house, we can even stay in the house, eat the same food. Persons that don't know from here. Uh, and now we are close close by. Some of them, uh, so certainly, there are so many examples. Some of them, I'll just put my status on Facebook. I mean, on um, WhatsApp. They'll just see that. They'll just wire me some money. Say, take your take your family out. I get me. Even with, with that asking, church, I've never in my entire life of doing this business asked any of my clients for any people. No. So, church, some of them I would deliberately came. Uh, let's say that, that uh, they just give the wife, just give it. Other is ah, fantastic. Um, give them something. So, okay, take this uh, at least for your, for your, for your, let's deliver it to you. 
and all those small small things which which I do, and you have to be a good giver. You you give in this industry, you give yes. as much as as you give. Person will say, the, the, the person I've not even seen can even give you. That means that uh, the person has a good heart, and by so doing, the sky is just a starting point. Just that the fact if you are if you are thinking of coming to VSC, there's a good there's good money in VSC. That person there's good money in VSC. What you have to be able to play your card very well in a good way. It's not it's not a, an eat and run. But if you if you get it right, uh, there are several people who who are uh, who are uh, who because of the trust I've built over the years. They are just waiting. Just tell me that okay, if this property is here, they will just buy. Some will send money to my hand. Okay, if they want to keep the property. Some as okay, I, you have any projects? Some are waiting for a project to come for them to pay. So that is it. When you build it, when you build trust. You just but uh, you will not you will not lack because people are there to assist you when to assist you if there's need for that and for them to buy a product when new product comes to the market. Like I said, trust is trust is very very important and you have to know how to play trust very well. And mind you, let me say this too. Um, what we are doing, you you have to you are acting. You are acting. The act you're acting, you have to act it and be and have empathy. You're acting. Yeah, I'm a salesperson. Yes, I'm a salesperson. Is um, but just like the movie you watch when you watch movie, all those top actors, that movie you saw them play is not their real self, but somehow there's how you act a particular scene severally, and it will now become your real self, even though even if that is not who you are. And you, as a person, I'm, I'm actually an inbot, I'm actually um, an in, ex introvert, I'm not extrovert. But with this university, I've act, the way I've acted this in this, this whole movie, and it, it is now part and part of me that whenever I stay with clients and I talk, I talk to them like if I've been over the years. Mind you, when I started, it was like acting, I was acting a script. But that script that is now part and part of, part and part of me. So, and when you add those things very well, the trust will not be an issue. Trust the time, but when you act it well, the sky is that important. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. I don't know if our people in the house, what's the link digital? Do you have a question for Mr. Dennis Wilson? Comfortable, do you have a question? If you want to type, fine, we'll read it from the chat box. But if you want to say it, raise up your hand and you'll have an opportunity to talk. We are waiting for you. You can type in the chat box, and uh, if you want to talk, fine. But if we don't have questions, we will have to release him because he's a busy, busy person. I'm sure he had to look for a way to accommodate us in his plan today. You can ask him. It's been a while since I've been on his <laughs> pursuing him, but I thank God we can finally do it today. So. If we don't have any questions, we promised ourselves we'll be here for an hour, and this is 2.55 p.m. We appreciate you, Mr. Dennis Son, for this eye-opening session. And I hope we are not only at twist. Of course, we'll come back for more. <laughs> God bless you, and we wish your company the very, very best. Warm regards to your wifey and kids and your team, too. God bless you. And you. To every okay, sorry, we have somebody who raised their hand. Comfort, Abe. Please talk, Ma. Somebody wants to ask a question. Okay, for a starter, how do you get properties to market? That's her question. She's typed it in. Okay. Um, there are several ways you can get properties to start, but I will tell you the wrong way, not the wrong way should not go to. Don't get property from Omolele. Mm -hmm. Don't get property from individuals. Don't do that. Because if you do that, you will you will fall into trouble on time. And also, you um, you might not have access to the, the you're not sure if the person um, is the real owner of that, of that property. So don't go through the route of Omorile, or that is the, the families, or go through individuals because you will fall into trouble on time since you're just starting. The best way to get property is to, I would recommend you join a Reuters group. 
reason why I said you join Rators Group, I, mind you, I, I didn't even say you go to the companies. Join Rators Group. Why you should join Rators Group is because mostly, most Rators Group, they've done the verification for you. They've uh, do their funerary check on that property. So, which means that even though you don't have the money to go and do your search yourself to confirm if the land is genuine or not, the, the group have already done it for you. So, and the, these groups, they have uh, several companies that they market for. So, because they have several companies, so you have options. You, you, will not, you won't just market all, your, you, all of them, just pick few of them and market. So, that's why I said, don't even go to the company directly. Because going to the company directly, as a beginner, is not a good one for you. Because they might cheat you, and um, the property they have might not be, may not be okay. So, but the options, if you go to a, a marketing resource group, it will, it will be easier for you to um, it will be easier for you to market those products, and you will not have challenge on time. Because this business, um, this, there are some people that that what so you might eat a commission now. And that commission will hang you in 10 years' time. So we have to avoid that. Okay, she has another question. She said, how is boundless properties in the industry? How is boundless is... properties? I don't know about that. Well, then you check it. Okay. You... It's in the comments. Boundless property. Boundless property. What is boundless? I don't know what is boundless. What, what, what do you mean by boundless property? Can you, can can... you talk? Madam Abe, your hand is still raised up. If you want to talk, but he needs more clarification on what you are asking. If you can talk, Kuma, or mute and say what you have in mind. Okay, Boundless is a real estate company. Okay, no, see, I I cannot say anything about um, a real estate company. I've, I've just told you how you can get properties. Um, if uh, sure, this what I just mentioned that this company I don't know about them, so I cannot say anything about them. So if you want to market for them, you can talk to them. If you um you have a surveyor, which you should have, because some people you need to have as your friend. You need to have a lawyer, property lawyer as your friend. You need to have a surveyor as your friend, because these two people will save you the problem you'll face in future. So before, like for instance, before I before I market any products, I make sure that I take my surveyor to the place, or even go there myself, pick the coordinates and send to them. They get the documents of the, of the property and send to the lawyer to help me verify them. So um, if you can do that with this company, go ahead and market for them. If you can do, if you can do it, because but me, I don't know anything about the company, so I cannot say anything about this particular company. Now, someone market for your company. Um, the truth is this: I, I'm still a realtor, so um, um, I've not I've not started um, selling my own. I've not started selling my party yet. Uh, I'm still building, so I've not started selling my party, party yet. So, uh, so you cannot market for me now because I'm I'm still actively marketing for other people. Too. So that is how to talk about it. So, but I've just told you how to how to um, get property to market. So if you, hello? Yes, we are here. Uh, so if you you want to market property, so the best thing to do is join a realtor's group. That's what I would, I would recommend. Uh, and if um, um, you want my assistance, you can communicate with um, um, Madam Yabo, uh, my contact, then, then I can send you options of um, group you can join to market. To market that property so that it can be safe. Purpose is for you to be safe to prevent that trouble. Okay, thank you so much. I hope the quest uh, your answer. Uh, she says she's fresh in the industry. Okay, so he has answered your question, uh, and so we can link you up if you want us to link you up by his grace. We are in touch with one another. Uh, if also oh, she says thanks a lot, that means you satisfied her. So in the absence of any other questions, it's 3 p.m. on the dot. And I'm so thankful for this first MCA, Money Conversations are free. We are so grateful to the Lord. And by the way, we shall be having such impromptu sessions. 
because some of our speakers are busy and they might not be able to commit to a Sunday schedule. So any any time they give us, we will just uh, throw out a broadcast. So if you want to follow us, you can follow us on YouTube. Our channel is H-A-U-S. Our house is H-A-U-S, not H-O-U-S-E. H-A-U-S of wisdom. And so you can follow us on YouTube. We shall be uploading and we shall be streaming live as long as God grants us favor in the presence of our speakers. And so this afternoon, I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Dennis Isong. God bless you so, so much. We appreciate the time thank it you. took for you to do this and you were quite transparent. You hit nothing. God bless you. We appreciate you. Bye-bye. And to all of us that are watching, we want to say bye-bye on this edition of Morning Conversations Freak. If you want to know more about our activities in House of Wisdom, we are on WhatsApp at plus 234-803-356-4055. WhatsApp again, plus 234-803-356-4055. We look forward to having you on our WhatsApp uh, list. God bless you and thanks for watching. Do have a pleasant rest of the day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, sir.